What's wrong? Is it your turn to play with Ginger? No, we're wearing masks and gloves and Ginger's not protected at all! Oh, but Sammy, our health is his best protection. Ginger doesn't go out. Still unfair. I can feel the hamster judgment. Sam, there's hamster judgment only when you're not sharing sweets with him. Anyway, let's right a wrong then. Shall we make tiny masks for him? Let's make a hospital maze for him. Oh, a new maze! That's interesting. Hi guys! Today we'll make a cool new multi-level maze for our hamster. It will be a five-level hospital. So Ginger can mix business with pleasure. Right. First, we need to cut several cardboard bases for our maze. So do you realize that Ginger is an experienced maze wa- uh, maze runner? Anyway, we should do our best to surprise him. Sure, Sammy, but it depends on you as well. And guys, be careful with the cutter. I made a hole for Ginger here. Good! One part of the base is ready. Keep it up! Why only one? All five are ready. Here, look. Wow. When did you do all this? I got distracted again. <laughs> Can you make the decor? Sure. We'll have two types of walls. Small decorative walls and these large high walls in hospital style. Check it out. So I decorated all the base parts. Let's admire them. I mean, check them out. Also, I made a layout of all the obstacles. Yes, Sam, I must admit that decorating is the only thing you're better at than eating sweets. Right, Sue, decor and sweets are two out of three most important things in my life. Uh, decor, sweets, what's the third thing? Guys, any ideas? Making our viewers happy, of course. While the viewers make me happy giving a thumbs up to our videos. Sammy, look, all the maze bases are ready. That's what I call a quick building construction. Well, now we can move on to making the obstacles. So guys, let's begin arranging the obstacles. We'll start with the top level. First, we'll place all the separation walls and then the obstacles. Guys, remember to be very careful working with the hot glue gun. Here, we'll have a dining area. Did you say dining area? Yes, we'll not just have tables and chairs, but lots of fun stuff. Huh, I'll be right back. Oh, where are you going? Anyway... Glue the walls, leaving space between them for future obstacles. There. We'll make a small separation in the shape of a cheese here. Remember that your pet should be able to pass between the walls. Let's begin arranging the details. Tables and chairs go first. One goes here. Yeah, Sue, you're a pro in arranging things quickly. But now, watch me! Cool obstacles, Sammy. So bright. Ginger will definitely like them. Let's add a door as well. Right here. And this is a cool tunnel. Done. Since we're talking about tunnels... Cool, Sammy. Transparent tunnels always look awesome. What's this holy blanket? Why do we need it in the hospital? Oh, and that's not a blanket. That's a rope bridge. Let me show you. Huh? Done. Wow, why a cool dining area. What's next? You'll see. We put these cylinders everywhere to make it easier for the hamster to pass between the levels. Right, we don't want him to hurt himself. Oh, I can see you brought the first obstacle. Let's place it here. Two, you still didn't tell us what this level is. Ah, the surgery and treatment room. Even the tunnel fits the theme. <laughs> but... To make it more fun... Whoa, cool! Continuing with the treatment theme, we'll make a bandage obstacle. Attach the bandage diagonally like you do with shoelaces. Ginger's gonna be the healthiest hamster in the world after training like this. Yes, Sammy, physical training is very important for health. Especially for hamsters. Two. What is that? Oh, a virus? Don't be afraid, Sammy. We have something to confront it. But first, Ginger's gonna have to overcome a small obstacle. Sue, are you sure he's gonna make it? Of course, Sammy. Our hamster is an expert in overcoming stairs and slides. There, this level's ready. Here's our third level. It's made in the shape of petals. 
I already glued the separation walls and made these holes in them. This level looks kinda empty, don't you think? I do. That's why we're gonna do this! Spread the tinsel paper, filling all the sectors with it. This will make it a little harder for Ginger to pass. An easy level turns into a hard one! Pay attention to the cylinder. It's right here in the corner. Let's fill the floor of the third level with these little balls! Woo! <laughs> Leave the central part free. It's the passage to the next level. They look like breakfast cereal. <sighs> Sammy, you just ate. Why are you always thinking about food? Yes, you sorry. I promise I won't mention food anymore. Buy the mozzarella. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Well, let's continue. This is the recovery level with beds and stuff. So first we'll put soft paper tinsel. These beds I made will perfectly fit this level. Yes, Sammy, just what we need. Our beds will be right here next to each other. By the way, what kind of mattresses do hamsters prefer? Hard ones or, like me, soft ones? Be careful not to fall asleep. I glue the beds and the curtains and this cute bedside table. So hospital rooms can be boring. Hmm, what do you suggest? Entertainment! <laughs> Our hospital room will even have a swing! Bravo, Sammy! Ginger will definitely relax and have fun! To catch! Huh? Got it! This slinky will make a great tunnel! Voila! What about this? This too, Sammy. Let's set it here. And this level's ready too! <laughs> Sammy, there's no time for fun yet. We've almost finished the maze, so we can party! <laughs> All right, up. We'll set these roulettes. It'll take Ginger some effort to get past them. So, do hamsters have hospitals? <laughs> of course, they're called veterinary clinics. I hope the only hospital Ginger's gonna visit will be this maze. Guys, give a thumbs up so that Ginger stays healthy. Sammy, we only need to make a roof and the external decor. These cute bricks will be at the end of the level. We'll have a helipad on the roof. That's what I call decor. Where's this helipad? I'm gluing one of them right now. Wow, we'll have two helipads? Everything for our hamster. Well, yes. This is how a standard hospital roof looks like. I also made a small shed. Let's glue it above the hole made for Ginger. Every hospital should have a special sign. A cross. This way, everyone will know that this roof is only for hospital helicopters. Alright, I know what else this hospital's missing. Ah, <sighs> Well, guys, we made our five-level hospital maze for a hamster. Sammy made this external decor. A porch, some greenery. Ah, now let's connect our levels into one hospital. This is reception. The next level is the hospital room with entertainment. The third level has petal shaped sections. The second to last level is the surgery and treatment room. The upper level is the dining area. And our roof on top. A little warm-up for Ginger. Awesome! So we made a real hospital! I guess Ginger can't wait to see it! Then let's let him! Go, buddy! I believe in you! Look, I think he found the passage to the first level! Good job! Let's see how you do this one! Huh, Ginger likes treats, just like I do! He found the nuts! Time to power up! 
Oh, I think he wants some more. Come on, Ginger. There's so much more ahead. Oh, oh, look! He found the tunnel! Yeah, he's a smart guy. But this stage is a hard one. Oh, Ginger, they're not edible. <laughs> I think he figured it out, Sammy. <laughs> Go, Ginger! Still, he outsmarted your system. And here we go, to the next level. It's the treatment and surgery department. Oh, he's gonna make the virus! Keep the distance, Ginger, keep your distance! Oh, oh. That's okay, Sammy. He already passed the bandage obstacle. Oh, I'll bet he liked these slides. Wow, that's smooth. Way to go, buddy! Here comes the petal-shaped level. So, I think he's gonna take a nap here. <laughs> no, look. He found the passage to the blue sector. Oh, shoot! He'll get stuck in here! Should we help? No, Sammy. Ginger's a maze expert, remember? I'm sure he'll find his way out. That's the last top sector, buddy. Quick, enter the hole! I guess Ginger had too many treats today, Sammy. <laughs> this level is the hospital room with some entertainment. You can have a rest here, Ginger, if you want. The path was thorny, but our brave fella kept going. He never stopped wondering what's there at the end of the road. <laughs> Sammy, you're a great storyteller. In the meantime, our brave traveler reached the passage to the last level. Here we go! You're at the finish line, Ginger! Go! Go! <gasps> Look! He's gonna enter the reception room! Way to go, Ginger! Uh, I bet these things are great to rub your belly. <laughs> Ginger! Ginger! Yay! You passed another maze, buddy! Good job! <laughs> Guys, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to see more fun things for your hamsters! Now, Ginger has his hospital! Everything's under control! Thank you for watching, guys! Bye bye See ya! And we will see a shape for you and me. I am a Yay! Look at these two pictures. How many differences can you spot? One, two, three, four. That's right, there are four differences. Well done, Rectangle! It's time to get back on the shelf! Yay!
If you want to make a colourful cardboard cottage, all you need to do is take a small cardboard tube and pinch the end together. Then stick it with a piece of sticky tape. Cut the corner off an old envelope for a roof, then cut out a rectangle shape for a chimney. Stick the chimney to the roof and stick the roof to the tube like this. stickers for windows and a door and use a pen to add extra details. Your colourful cardboard cottage is finished and ready to play with. What a brilliant idea, Scraps! And you can make any type of cardboard cottage you like. Wow, Mathilde, I love your cottage. It looks like a Mr Maker cottage. How did you make all the spots on the roof? Um, they were like these little sticker um, spots. Very nice. And what shapes have you made for the windows? Hearts. Very nice, Mathilde. Well done. Now, Gyra's house is very, very sparkly. And what's this up here, Gyra? It's smoke coming out. How did you make that? I teared some paper up. Oh, that's very good. I wish I lived in this house. Phoenix, what do you like about your house? I like the wonderful purple wrapping paper and the stickers I put on the roof. I think you're right. It looks brilliant. And now, my friends, for something completely different, follow me. Come on, everyone. Yeah! This way. Come on, my friends. That's it. <laughs> now, you are about to make a brilliant party picture. Have a look at the screen and see if you can guess what it is. What picture are today's mini makers making? Any ideas yet? <laughs> what do you think it could be? It's a lighthouse! That's right, it's a lovely lighthouse. Well done, Mini Makers. <laughs> and that sound means it's time to play... Party, party game! Yeah! Yeah! So it's over to Party Cam to find out which mini makers are playing today. It's Dahlia! Yeah! Who's next? Let's find out. Thomas! Yeah! And last but not least, off you go. Chosen for a very special arty challenge. Yeah! Today, my friends, you're going to be building a colourful city like this one here. But the difference is, your city is going to be a really big one. That's right, you're going to build a city using all of these different colourful shapes. Now, Amy, Thomas and Danya, do you think you can do it? Yeah! I think so too, but you've got to be really quick. You must finish building your city before Scraps makes this noise. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> Go! Ah, you've got one, Thomas. Stick it on, my friend. Brilliant. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> Daniel, maybe you can help Amy. That's it. It's a very tall one. That's it. <laughs> Time's up! Oh, well done, Mini Makers! Yeah! <laughs> you have built 
a brilliant city. That was fantastic. But now it's time to tidy up. So get started, Mini Makers, and I'll help you too. We've been arty at our arty party. Are you ready? Your bus just been gone! That's right, our party's over, but your arty fun is just beginning. It's time to put the party pad back in its box. See you soon, everyone. Bye! Sue, so, I'm coming. Here, Sue, will these sticks be enough? Uh, no, Sam, we need lots and lots of sticks. Yeah, I know. Here! That's more like it. I told you I'll find all the sticks we need, so there you have it. Well done! Though I'm not sure even this amount is enough. Oh, what about glue? Oh no, Sammy, wait! We need to lay out the sticks first. I'll help! What? What? Sammy, with all this work, we've completely forgotten about our viewers. <laughs> viewers, we have this construction going on and you think about viewers? But Sammy, we not only need to make the house for our rat, but also tell our viewers about everything. Oh, now I'll have to distract myself with some nonsense. Oh, are you recording already? Of course I am. We're building already. Hi, guys. Oh, uh, hi, uh, don't think anything bad. Please, I'm always happy to talk to you, dear viewers. I, I wasn't ready. All right, all right. I think they'll forgive you if you tell them what we're making here. Ah, it'll be my pleasure. Well, do you remember our dear rat? So, she's our new pet now! We've even given her a name. It's... No, 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 don't say it yet. We'll reveal it when the house is ready. <laughs> well, all right. That's what we're doing here. A house for our rat. Right. She can't really live in the labyrinth. Guys, hit the like button if you've seen the rat labyrinth video. And we'll continue. This is the base of our future house, and we're making it out of wooden popsicle sticks. It's a wonderful light material. But you'd better ask an adult to help you with this project. Sue! Sue, our rat can't wait to see the final result! Then let's continue! There! The base is complete. It'll be the floor of the first floor. But it won't just stand on the ground. We'll make a house on supports. Here they are! Look, is that right? Yes, Sammy! It's just wonderful! We need to glue all of the supports to our base correctly. As always, be very careful with hot glue. And it's important to take it slow here. We'll need special supports on the corners. Let's turn it over! <laughs> awesome! <laughs> Checking to see if it's sturdy? Uh, of course, can't do without it. I approve. All right. Then I'll start working on the walls. The walls of the house should definitely have windows. And doors! <laughs> It's like assembling a puzzle. And I'll secure them with horizontal sticks. Like this. Carefully and neatly. And they also need some decoration. Hope our rat will like the decorations. By the way, guys, did you know that rats can produce sounds similar to laughter when they're happy? <laughs> and what house can do without a door? Let's assemble it quick! Guys, do you like making crafts out of wood? Write in the comments which crafts you've made. Special door for our special rat. Mm -hmm. 
One wall is done! Abracadabra! And one becomes two! <laughs> and we need to make the rest of the walls the same way. Right. While Sue's making the house, I'll make sure you have everything you need. First, it's the bed, of course. Right. I think I'll need to use some slime magic here. Guys, try to recall the video where I did magic. We'll need a solid wall and a wall with a window so that the rat can look outside. And we've also made this wonderful arc. Ha <laughs> ha! The bed is done! I did good, huh? Right, I need to make the bed soft and comfortable. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That's how many walls we need to make a pretty house for our rat. Now it's glue time! We need to glue everything really well. I'll make a room on the first floor of the house. Yeah, the Ratsy will be very comfortable on these white bed sheets. Oh, I'm going to get a carpet too! Huh, oh, what color should I pick? Check out this carpet! Do you like it? The room is finished! And now, the base of the second floor. It's easy to make it. Let me show you. We lay out the sticks, one by one. And secure them with horizontal sticks. It will be very sturdy. Right, where are the supports Sam made? We're going to need them. We'll glue them here. And there. And we'll also need a table. Yes, yes, and some treats to put on the table. I'll go get them! Done! Let's return to the house. And glue the floor of the second floor. And here we get something like a patio. There! The most important pieces are done. I'll go help so now! And now let's make one more room. I'll use the remaining three walls for that. Ah, uh, what about the roof? Don't worry, Sammy. I haven't forgotten about the roof. Thanks. And two more sheets made of sticks. Is this where the roof goes? Yep. I'll carefully glue the side. Pieces. It's coming out so great! It's great that our house is so tall, but, uh, how is our rat going to get inside? Jump? Oh, <laughs> of course not. He'll use the stairs. The stairs? Well, yes. Look, we'll glue one here. And the second one is for the second floor. Ah, oh, that's more like it. We only need to make pretty borders. And then we can move our dear resident in. The borders? How? Look. We'll take small sticks, lay them out neatly. We need some space between the sticks. And then we'll take longer sticks. Like this? Yep, thanks. And glue them to the short sticks. <gasps> it's a fence! Oh, well, yeah, borders, fence, you can call them whatever you want. And we'll need a lot of these. Well then, let's get to it. Oh! 
It's time to give our house a finished look. Quick, set the furniture! Oh, Sam, they're great! <sighs> I did my best. Come on, let's furnish the house! The carpet. The bed. And the table with treats. Huh, let's add some greenery. <gasps> what a beautiful via! Well, I think it's time to reveal the name of our rat. Yes! We've named her Tater Tots. Give a thumbs up if you like the name. Welcome to your new residence, Tater Tots. Aha! She's going to the dining room first. Enjoy your meal. Hey, little one. <laughs> She's going to the second floor! <laughs> Looks like she enjoys the green balcony. Now check out the bed. <laughs> Success! Sweet dreams, tater tots. channel and hit the bell button not to miss our new video about tater tots as soon as we make it. Bye-bye! See you soon! If you enjoyed the video, share it with your friends. It's much more fun to watch it together.